Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printing here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect to a SQLite database using Flash SQL Alchemy. So the reason why I'm making this video is because from this point forward, I'm not going to use MySQL or Postgres or any other hosted or typical database management system because I've had too much trouble uh, getting them to work on my computer and other people's computers when they ask me for help. Uh, there's just a lot to install. There's drivers you have to install. Then there's the database software itself. And it's pretty finicky and it doesn't work well across operating systems. So I just decided to make things simple and use the simplest database out there, which I think is SQLite. So SQLite is a really small database. So I think it only takes about a half a megabyte of space on your disk when you install it, which is much smaller than something that takes tens or even hundreds of megabytes like the other database systems. Also, um, it creates the database in a file. So you can actually see the database file and you can move it around your computer pretty easily because it's just a single file, which you'll see in a moment if you're not familiar with SQL Alchemy. So it should be pretty easy to install. If it's difficult to install, then you probably have trouble installing pretty much any application. So I can't help you there, but it should be relatively easy to install. So there are binaries. I personally used apt-get to install it, which was just uh, sudo apt-get install SQLite. But whatever operating system you use, there should be an easy way for you to install it. So I already have it installed. So the first thing I'll do is create a database. And the second thing I'll do is actually connect to that database and create a table in the database. So creating a database is pretty simple. Uh, you just run SQLite 3. I don't know why you need the 3 after it, but I'm going to use the 3. And I'll just create the database called example.db. And I'll look at the tables in the database. There's nothing there. And if I look at my files, I have this example, which is the database I just created. So let me exit out of SQLite, and I'll go into Flask and, and quickly write the code to connect to it. So import Flask, and then I'll import SQL Alchemy so I can actually connect to this database. And I'm just going to create one table. So the configuration that I need is, I think, SQL Alchemy database URI. And for SQLite, really the only difference between SQLite and e any other database that you use is the URI. So it's uh, SQLite colon and then four slashes and then the path to it. So on my computer, it's mount C users, antho, documents, SQLite underscore example, and then example.db. So that's where it is on my computer, the absolute path, not the relative path relative to the file that you're using. And then I'll do app is going to be flask. And I already messed this up. I need to move this above the configuration value. So I'll just do that up here. And then finally, the database is going to take in that app and get created. And I'll just create one simple table. I'll call this table uh, example table in inherits DB model. And I'll create one column. That is an integer. So the primary key is true. And that's it. So I'll save this file and I'll run Python so I can actually create this database. And we'll then see the, the table that's in the database that just gets created. So from main import db, and then db create all. And now if I exit out of Python and go back into my database, so SQLite 3 example.db, and I do tables again. I see I now, I now have example table in my database. So that was pretty easy to do. I didn't have to connect to any remote server to do this. It's just on my local machine. And if I want to move this file around, I can. If I want to send it to someone, I can. And I'll get the same exact database. So like I said, in the future, I'll be using SQLite as my database instead of MySQL, which I, which I typically use, or PostgreSQL. So... Uh, if you have any questions about SQLite, you can just leave a comment down below and I'll answer them. Uh, one other thing I should note that with SQLite, you don't have to install any drivers for it because it's automatically included in Python as part of the standard library. So unlike MySQL or Postgres, you don't have to install anything other than the database itself, which I said earlier is pretty small. It's half a megabyte. But Python itself actually has the drivers to interface with the SQLite database. 
So there's already built in support there. So uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.